earthing conductor sizing earthing conductor sizing here is based on bs7430 the formula given in bs is h is equal to i root t by k where i is the fault current in amps rms and t is the time uh, the duration of the fault the duration of the fault can be taken as 1 second or 3 second k is a constant depending on the material the earthing material can be copper steel or aluminium now the we have four cases the four cases here are the first case is conductor used in a hazardous area the second case is conductor touching other cables third is the conductor inside a multi core cable fourth is a conductor not touching any cable now when a conductor is used in a hazardous area that is earthing conductor the temperature rise in the conductor has to be restricted to the temperature class specified in the hazardous area classification if the temperature class is t3 the temperature has to be restricted to 200 degree celsius the final temperature the initial temperature is the ambient temperature now if a conductor is touching other cable the temperature has to be restricted to 250 degree celsius the reason is an xlp cable the outer sheath you know can withstand a temperature uh, much uh, you know withstand a temperature i think up to 90 degree celsius sorry the insulation can withstand up to 90 degree and the outer sheet about 250 degree celsius it may get deformed so hence we need to restrict the earthing conductor temperature to 250 when a cable when a conductor is used inside a multi core cable the same case we have to restrict the outer temperature to 250 degree celsius now when a conductor is not uh, touching any cable the final temperature can be you no know, higher value it can be 395 for copper and 500 for steel but this case is very rare because very rarely you will find a conductor which is not touching any of the insulation so better go for the first two cases in the first uh, you see one more thing is when you have joints the joint become ineffective above a temperature of 200 degrees celsius so it is better to go for the first case but if you feel first case is very conservative go for the second case now one more thing is when you use galvanized iron conductors between 200 to 250 degree celsius this galvanized layer peeling occurs so better restrict to 200 degree celsius now here this value of k you can directly take from here for copper you can take as 149 and substitute here for steel you can take it as 55 and substitute here but if your temperature initial and final values are different then please use this formula and determine the value of k based on this capital k and beta which is given again in this table this table is again taken from bs7430 now uh, okay copper steel is given aluminum i don't uh, use normally because of corrosion problem for example now if it is steel for a 40 ka that is 40000 divided by 55 gives you somewhere around 750 mm square so that is how you determine the size after you do determine the size you have to add some margin for corrosion i will tell about that later thank you